Yo guys, basically we're in Costco today because they have Pokemon in Costco So I'm gonna go try and find it. I called them up already and they said they have some stuff So let's go try and find it and I'll show you guys what they have They have Pokeball tins at, You gotta look at this price, £22.78 with that And then they have bigger boxes, these are Ultra Beast GX boxes for £26.38 So so in the Feramosa and Celesteela box, you have um, XY Fates Collide, you've got XY Roaring Skies, uh, Two Crimson Invasion, Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows, Evolution, and Guardians Rising. And then over here, we've got the Buzzwell and Exarchitrine. Looks like we've got the exact same packs again. Roaring Skies in there, Burning Shadows, Evolution. Good variety of packs, apart from maybe Crimson, uh, XY Fates Collide and Crimson Invasion. But the rest of them are quite good uh, at that price. We will grab maybe one. And also, my girl just mentioned to me they got play mats in these ones as well. You get a play mat, coin, and a big jumbo card. But that's same as like the Charizard uh, and Venusaur one that they dropped earlier last year. So here is the play mat. That is the Buzzwall one. That's the Feramosa. Uh, so the two play mats are there. I think we will go for just to get one because we need the Charizard from Burning Shadows still. Um, and it'd be nice to open all these other sets as well, especially XY Warrior Skies. You've got evolutions there. So it's a nice little box. We'll grab one. First one, first one. Boom. So it looks like there's three different ball tins. You have this one, this one, and this one. So three different sets. I think this one here might have Burning Shadows and Evolutions and Sun and Moon. Uh, but we'll get one of each so you know which ones to get. This should be a big promotion over across Costco, across the country. So it's good if we open one of each. This is pretty much the same packs inside, as we can see, but the promos are different. But here, we, since it's a tin, we'll work out what promos, are, what packs are inside. So boom, I just grabbed one of each uh, type. Like I said, it's three different sets. Obviously, you're gonna have the red ball in each one, but the other two are always different. It depends which season they're dropping. But we're gonna open these at home. Uh, so let's go take the thumbnail and Let's get back home. So yo guys, basically got my stuff from Costco and I'm gonna open everything at home. Literally I got one of each apart from this box because you get the identical packs in these. So you get two of these, but they have the identical packs. Whereas these, we don't know what packs exactly. So I wanna open one of each so you guys can know and pretty much. I only came for the Pokemon stuff, but I thought let me grab some drinks while I'm here. Um, and also some sweets. So yeah, one of each Pokemon. Once we get home to the packing, the opening station that what, what is called, well, I don't even have a name for it really. I guess the opening station. Once we get to the opening station, we'll open these all up uh, and we'll show you which products. We'll do open it at a time. So we we'll open these first, and we open that first, and we open that, and then we open that. So you guys can know what is available. This is available in the UK and America, and this one may be UK only. This one might be UK only. However, American have some uh, EX boxes or GX boxes in store as well. A different one, not the exact same as this one. Uh, so yeah, UK and US, you can find these. But let's get home and let's open these up. So boom, back home now and we have all the products here. However, I can't fit them all on screen. So look, you can see, literally I can't fit everything. But So we're gonna start one product at a time. I'm gonna start with the box and then we're gonna go into the balls. I'll try and do it quickly. Uh, like I said, there's probably a more detailed, better look. But unfortunately, I can't fit it on the camera. I can take it off here though. Uh, so we've got the Buzzwall, Exarchitry. The packs were the same in the two boxes. The other one was Feramosa, right? Uh, the packs were the same, so I just wanted to get one. With the ball tins, which I have to my side of me, which you saw earlier, uh, I wanted to get all of them just so we can see what the different packs are because last year in the tins they had last year, they had all had different packs. Uh, but I already obviously knew the different tin sets so I knew what were inside them I kept on buying the ones with burning shadows in them and yeah a lot of these products do have burning shadows we've got burning shadows here, evolutions here these two sets you can get Charizards in uh, there's a nice Roaring Skies a really good set there's a Rayquaza full art in there that's really really nice uh, Guardians Rising some good secrets there good secrets in all of these sets so let's get into opening this this one's got the play mat you guys might remember the Charizard and the Venusaur um, from earlier last year or late last year. It's pretty similar to that. You got the play mat coin, whatever, and the big ass promo card as well. So let's get this open. We'll open it right now. We're gonna open it in this video. So we're gonna open everything in one video. I wanna show you what sort of hits you can get, what sort of packs you can get, and everything from um, Costco. It's quite easy to open, to be honest. Look at this. 
Alright, so I'll lay it flat. So boom, we got play mat. It's play mat. I showed you in the picture in the store. Uh, we have this Buzzwell coin. I don't know, a lot of coin collectors out there. We sold over 100 coins on our eBay store, so uh, they do quite well. So that is a Buzzwell coin. Here we have Buzzwell uh, SM69, <laughs> nice number there. And we also have SM68 Executory GX2 promo cards here. And we also have the Jumbo version of Buzzwell. But I'll keep that off camera for now just because it'll be too big for the background. And then the packs you get in there, if you didn't see through the package, if you're not familiar with Pokemon, you may not understand which what packs were in there. But obviously we can, if you've been opening a lot, a lot, or you know all the sets, you kind of can tell from the colors. But here we have, um, Crimson Invasion, two Crimson Invasions, one Sun and Moon base. Uh, we got Fates Collide, XY Roaring Skies. Obviously, I picked the box with the Rayquaza artworks. So I really love Rayquaza, so I picked the pack with the Rayquaza artwork. Hopefully, you get Rayquaza in there. Uh, we got Lycan Rock. Um, Lycan Rock, sorry. Now, I'll talk about pack cards. I mean, we've got Guardians Rising, some good cards in there that I need still in my personal collection. XY Evolutions, the reprint of the original base set. You guys might understand once we open it. Then we've got Burning Shadows. You can get the $3,000 Rainbow Charizard in this set. In PSA 10, it'll be $3,000, but raw about five, six, seven, eight hundred. Um, but let's go. Let's do Burning Shadows last and Roaring Skies, uh, for Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising. Crimson Invasion, we'll get rid of these two. Uh, there is an Umbreon in this set, which is not bad. Uh, but Fates Collide, I'm not really a big fan of. But there are some good cards. Um, so let's go open this up. So for XY, it's, oh, we got green code anyways. Uh, but we got three from the back. We'll see what's in here. We might get a break card. XY was the error of the break card. So we might get a break card in the reverse slot, but I can't remember if there's any in this set. I hardly open this set, to be honest. But yeah, Shauna, Riley, Bronzel, Sterling, Carbink, uh, Fennec, Lucario, Reverse. I love Lucario. However, I don't know. I'm not feeling that artwork. And then we got Bronzong. So we're also going to get nothing because we've got a green code there. All right. I don't know which card, way the code cards are facing. Yeah, another way. It's facing the other way again. But I think if you saw the color of that, uh, then you saw it. If not, let's go for it. Pokecatcher, Gramble, Baldor, Sandile, Meowth, Pipek. Eevee, Psyduck, Sparrow, and Incineroar. So nothing in there. I think there's an Espeon Rainbow Rare now, which is really cool. Here we have Crimson Invasion. Um, let's see if we can get this. Two packs of Crimson Invasion in this set, uh, in this box set. So there's two chances of getting something. There's some cool secret rares. There's some good Rainbow Rares. You can see the reprint quality. These have been reprinted for this set. Um, but yeah. Peking Red Card, Grand Pig, Mawile, uh, Magikarp, Execute, Cubone, Mankey, so land it um right hydrogen reverse and then we just got a scalvia um non hollow rare last pack man so we've how many packs we've gone through we've gone four packs zero hits let's see if that we can get at least something we need to get at least what was this one again this was about 26 quid i showed you the prices earlier right let's see if we can make that 26 quid back obviously we've got some promos we've got the play mats we can sell we just need a few more hits and then we can break even at least but magic art suffer execute spoink not bad that is half decent this is not a regular like a hollow rare or something we got full art um sell valley so this will help it's probably about four or five pounds but you see the accurate market price in that corner and every time we pull something does that look a bit fishy to you the fonts, I think, fonts look a bit weird on this. This is uh, Guardians Rising, but obviously it should be fine. Uh, Pokemon, I think Pokemon would work closely with, uh, or the distributor of Pokemon would work closely with Costco. Uh, it's probably like unsold product, etc., uh, that they put in every year. But this stuff is in America as well. I don't know how it exactly it works, but I can imagine it's unsold product or they make too much product. But Blissey, this is a holo rare, but we've got a reverse version and we've got Salazzle non holo so no hit there. All right, Roaring Skies, we need a Charizard. Oh, this opened very easy. I guess it's quite old. White, ah, uh, it is a white code. However, it might have been their time where they didn't have code colors. Like there wasn't a white or green codes back then. But we've got Jaleigh Spirit Link, Dragonair, Switch, Dunspress, High Dove, Nincada, Bagon, Electric, Whirlpeed, Ah, Burnett. So nothing there. There's a really, really nice Rayquaza. I'll put it up on the screen right here. That's the one we wanted. 
Um, I love Rayquaza. Obviously, I used to play Emerald when I was younger, so that's why I have that attachment to Rayquaza. Um, shame we didn't get any Rayquazas there. It's not easy to come across Roaring Skies. I think the prices of Roaring Skies in the UK has gone up. Um, but yeah, especially in DS, if you've got a sealed booster box, yeah, definitely gone up. Bob Coughing and Dugong. Wow, this box is terrible, guys. All right, last pack Burning Shadows. There's only one card we want here. If you saw, we opened six boxes. Of I see something shiny already, but uh, let's see what we got. There is something here. I saw it. It's definitely not reverse. This is a miscut energy. Look at that. Can we sell that? We could sell that, but I'm not really fussed to be honest. Her uh, Charmeleon, Wellpeed, Wobbuffet, uh, Dupider, Dodgy Dimaru, Wimpod, Meowth, Magikarp, Electric, and we've got Darkrai. Hollow rare. So after spending 26 quid on this box, we got two hits. Uh, we still got our coins, our pr uh, jumbo cards, the promos, the playmat. So uh, what I was mentioning earlier, from Burning Shadows, we opened six booster boxes. Those videos are now all live on the channel, and we lost money on every single box. So unless you pull that Rainbow Charizard, you're going to lose money on Burning Shadows. But these quite work out quite cheap. So I'm going to go through hits at the very end. Uh, so we can work out the total value. I think it was about £95 in total, but now we're going to go into the ball teams. This is going to be quite a longer video, but we're going to go through every single product at Costco so you can make your mind up what products you should buy at Costco. So first up, we have this uh, ball tin. So is this an Aqua Ball, Ultra Ball, Poke Ball? Uh, I'm not quite sure with the special ones. I'll try and remember them. I know some of them from Pokemon Go, but you can see this is 2020. Uh, recently packaged together probably for Costco. You can see it's just made for Costco Watford as well the, uh, the one we went to but I think that's the where the head office is as well Costco wholesale island literally made for Costco by Pokemon um, So this is literally for po um, Costco they do it every 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 holiday season they do it because of the Christmas period They do Pokemon in Costco because the retailers will buy it for I guess kids or whatever uh, but yeah uh, last year we went crazy on crazy at Costco. We kept going back and we kept buying them out We kept buying and buying and buying. I said I put a picture here from when we went last year I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video, but still getting used to recording. I still getting used to what to say But yeah, let's get these tins out. Let's see. Oh, they got they're stuck. So they got a little tab there To keep them and hold I guess that's a good thing because otherwise they'd be rotating uh, but would you keep this packaging for display? This could be a good display for like, uh, like display the empty balls. That's just an idea. But I need to open the balls so we can get the packs out. Because otherwise they won't fit on screen. So let me speed roll through all this. It's going to be a longer opening. I, usually my openings are quite quick. But this is quite a detailed opening I guess. But yeah let's go for it. Let's do it guys. Boom. So tin one we have Sun and Moon, Burning Shows, Evolutions exactly what we wanted so let's go and open them we've got Volcaro now for the first coin there are coin collectors so i'm gonna go let you guys know all the coins etc so guys do people buy these empty tins let me know because i've been throwing them away for the last two three years um so yeah let's go to the next one speed roll it all right ultra ball we have same again we've got sun and moon evolutions and burning shadows so we'll put that in a pile um so Volcaro now again so I'm gonna open each uh, set of three separately just because they might be different series, different years, uh, have, might have different packs. So I don't wanna open them together. We will wait and... Where's the coin? It's like that game when they... Ooh, a Raichu coin. Oh, we have this first time again, this Raichu coin. So that's gonna be very good on my eBay. I could probably ask like two, three quid for that one. Trust me guys, we sold over 100, 200 coins, I guess, because we have the huge selection of coins with our multi discount uh we have so many customers for our coins um but yeah let me put the balls away and we'll get into opening the pack can't even find where i put the ultra ball but boom 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 so let's start with sun and moon sun and moon i think there's a lapras rainbow there's an espion rainbow uh burning shadows obviously got charizard evolutions you also got a charizard and many cool uh full arts as well so let's see what we can get out of these uh ball tins today so this is the first uh, set of three and we're gonna see what sort of hits we're gonna get uh, what sort of cards are available in case you're new to Pokemon you don't know what I'm in these sets uh, yeah this video is gonna be perfect for you because you can see what we sort of kind of pull and you can see what sets are there you can always oh there's gonna be something here so you go 
you can always do your research as well you can go on pokey lector you can find the card list of every set that i mentioned that we get today but yeah uh, i thought i'd do a good video i wish i did it last year but i didn't have the pokemon channel last year we opened tons and tons i put a picture in the corner i put some pictures at the end from when we went last year because i put it in a recent video but lunala gx from sun and moon base set so yeah, this is called cool sun and moon base like sword and shield base from the beginning of the year this is a sun and moon version just in case you didn't know that or you because every set has the base version uh, just in case you didn't know but yeah all right fourth in the back let's see if we can get another hit uh so we got xp share pelopi palapa litter uh suffle eevee dupida polywag corsola and butterfree so one hit we got the lunala gx i make a pile for every set we open so this is uh this and then here we have burning shadows and I went to the game recently when they're doing the EV promos and they were telling me these um, ball tins, they had a kid pull the rainbow Charizard out of them uh, once, so I, hoped, I wish it was me, but I guess not, um, but we're going to see if we can get something here today, but uh, Electabuzz, Sork, Toji Demaru, Wimpod, Rattata, Magikarp, Palosan, Meow Stick. So yeah, this is really, literally, Burning Shadows, only thing worth pulling is the rainbow charizard i see something silvery in the background there so maybe it's gx maybe it's a full art i'm not quite sure to be honest Did you guys see the shininess um but yeah part literally no card is worth too much but obviously because it's costco these work about two pound fifty each in the ball tins um so oh my champ when we did our six tin opening we didn't pull one of these so this is a good hit uh would like a rainbow version of him do we get a rainbow version of him in here no, i'm not quite sure but all right, keep this tight. I'm not trying to see if we got any shininess. I want it to be a surprise. Because if we get that Rainbow Charizard, ooh, I want it to be a surprise, but simple. But yeah, they were telling me they was gonna offer him money, but his mum's there and he didn't want, they want, didn't want the mum to return and be like, oh, you ripped off my son. Uh, but yeah, there's a Rainbow Charizard in this set worth about 3,000 pounds in PSA 10. So that's why it's gonna be, the people are gonna go crazy for these balls. Because these balls work out £2.50 each and you can sell evolutions for like five pounds on ebay so this is evolutions this is the reprint of the base set you saw we got green code there uh but you can still get the charizard in the reverse lot as you can see from the style it's like a reprint with a modern touch of the original base set so we got ratata uh vulpix i like the buzz talking about reverse charizards we bloody pull one uh i'm, I'm not sure if i can say that word but yeah you can see there is a print line here here um it felt like a really good quality obviously the cut in the corners are not quite good it's like sharp in those corners but yeah boy reverse charizard like i said you get cream code but you're not losing still you can still get a mega hit that's like a 30 40 pound card so it literally pays for the two tins alone i'm pretty sure uh you see the accurate value anyways look the code card for that one faced the right way um but yeah, ooh, Charizard Spirit Link. Is it Charizard opening today? Let's see, Machoke, Ponyta, Magnemite, Pikachu, Machop, Weedle, Nidoran, and Eradicate. So nothing in that one, not even any good reverses. Um, but yeah, because the reverses are difficult to um, grade. But you gotta think, this reverse pattern is really good. Like, it's a really good reverse pattern. If you remember Legendary's collection, it, um, the cards people want are not the hollow res, they want the reverse. So it might be something uh, similar to this in a few years. But yeah, Rattata, um, <laughs> Diglett, we got Energy. Ooh, we got a hit, we got a hit. Uh, we got a Mewtwo EX, so boom, tin number, well, set number two. We got four hits again, but I'll recap at the very end with the values. This one I sell on our eBay, but I won't put it into the value, so I'm gonna put it there, and we're gonna go into the next one right now. So this is set number two. Is this a premier ball? This is a nest ball? I'm not quite sure, but yeah, same again. Just a little bit different color packaging. Uh, it says the same stuff on the bottom, same, same stuff everywhere. But we want to see, do we get the same pack? So let's go find out. A Pokeball, uh, there's one Pokeball in everything, but the other two are always different. So let's see. Uh, let's start with the Pokeball. Oh, ooh, yes, we get the same packs again in tin now uh the pokeball tin so we got burning shadows evolution sun and moon there and we've got volcara now again okay again same so it looks like you get the same packs in every tin but we got the coin here again 
throw these in the bin. I'm gonna put them aside because I'm, I'm not sure if I can sell them or not. Uh, but if I can't sell them, they go in the bin. Ooh, this. So, this is different. So, we got Sun and Moon. Okay. We got Burning Shadows. Okay. But this Green Ball or Nest Ball, whatever the actual name is, comes with Primal Clash. And this one, you get some cool Primal characters like Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre, uh, etc. And there's a few cards. Primal, those primal cards I need in my collection as well. So this is a really good set. So you can get this. This is from not opening it now. I'm 2015. So it's a five-year-old set in these green tins. So if you want to get this set, get the green tins. Um, but let's see. I'm gonna start off with the primal class. We've only got one of those. Um, so yeah, they're all full out the ones we want to get. White code, but I think with the earlier XY stuff, everything's white code. Like I mentioned earlier. Um, but yeah, let's go. We got Ride on here. Uh, XP share, Ribarical, Slugma, Torchic, Barrel, Surskit, Corefish, Surskit, and then my cargo. Um, why well, am I leaving this? It's not even a non hollow. So they have these half arts, but they're non hollow, they're nothing special. Uh, but you can get in, can get them in reverse form. So now we're getting into Sun and Moon again. Look, you can see something shiny there. So we're going to get something here. Um, but yeah, that's cool to know that one set you get something different one one tin you get something different so maybe you want to avoid that green one because you want to focus on getting burning shadows that one replaced the, the evolution so instead of evolutions you get that um primal clash pack i'm not sure if they're reselling or anything like that but we got gum shoes uh gx so this is third pile um but yeah guys it's just cool. I'm, I'm gonna try and get some stuff, but obviously, I like I said to Ada, I'm gonna focus on Champions Path, and then towards Christmas time, when I have a bit more free time in between um, uh, Vivid Voltage and Champions Path, I'll probably grab some of these, go for the Charizard again, etc., and buy some for the shop, etc., etc. But Gum Goose, Psyduck, ooh, Full Art Limia, Elima, Lima, Lima, I Lima. However you pronounce that, so double. Let's see if we can get two, get three in a row, guys. Three in a row. Come on, come, come, come. What do you reckon? Place your bets. Comment down below. Do you think we'll get three in a row with Sun and Moon? We got Crushing Hammer, Drowsy, Cutie Fly, uh, Snubble, Ratata, Corsola, and just a butter free. So boom. We at least we got a full art. That's probably the best thing we've got today. No secret res, but that full art is awesome. Um, so we're going back into Burning Shadows. A set I really like. Set I need one card, just one card. Uh, but what's the print quality saying? Yeah, a little bit whining, bad corners on these uh, Burning Shadows. But we got Krogunk, Pansei, Suffle, Tojinwaru, Electriff. Oh, it's back to camera, but you saw me. I was trying to have a little peek there. Nothing though, nothing I saw. Um, but we got Electrif, Simi Sage, Noctowl, Cutie Fly, Tynama, Duskull, Inkei, Suffle, Persian, and Percy Main. And. Ooh, was you looking? I don't know, I keep looking for silver bits, it's a bad habit. But it's just like a little teaser, like, ooh, we're gonna get something. But, Rata, Porygon, Panpour, Pan Sage, Lunatone, and Palosan. At least we got something at the end. Nothing crazy, but obviously, unless you get a Charizard Rainbow, there's nothing really you really want from that like Buddy Shadow. There's nothing really worth much. Oh, uh, there are a few Darkrai and Rainbow, Gardevoir Rainbow. I wouldn't mind to be honest, but they're not worth crazy amounts. But yeah, oh, I did four from the back. Uh, it's meant to be three, but we did get a Hollow Rare Clefairy, which counts as a hit. But we can still get a Rainbow Charizard. So let's see if we got one of those. Magnemite, Voltorb, Sandshrew, and just a Drowsy. Uh, three from the back, four X Y. So let me. Leave that up, and I think the battery's almost camera's about to almost die. Uh, so let's do the last one, then we're gonna open the very last product. Last pack, I mean, then we're gonna open the very last product for today. So, Super Potion, Volpix, Sanctuary, Onyx, Magikarp, oh, Volpix, and oh, double hit, double hit. So, we got Nido King. So, uh, I'm gonna go into the last tin box now. Yo, guys, so this is the very last one. We got a great ball. I want, I want to say quick ball, let me know more pokey ball. Let me know if I got all nine correct, the names of all nine correct. Literally saying it from the top of my head from Pokemon Go, and obviously the game, um, the video games as well from back when I was a kid, or Sword and Shield. But yeah, well, let's get these all out and let's work out what packs we get in these. 
So starting with Pokeball, we're going to see if all the Pokeballs were the same uh, before it was Sun and Moon and Burning Shadows and Evolutions in every single one. So we're going to see if it's the same again. Alright, I don't know if you saw that, it just flew out. So Burning Shadows, Sun and Moon and Evolutions. Uh, I think Quick Ball fell down, so we'll open the Quick Ball now. So, oh, we got something different, guys. We got something different. So, uh, coin is this one. Wait, where's the coin for my Pokeball? I'm gonna look for it after, but we got Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows, and Primal Clash. And we need this card. I think I got it already, but I need like a minty version. So, we got Primal Clash again. So remember, quick balls and the green ball that I showed you earlier have Primal Clash instead of Evolution. I think it was this from the Pokeball. Uh, so I'll put it there. And boom. Last one. Again, Volcar and I'll coin just in case you are a coin collector. But we got Burning Shadows. So you get Burning Shadows with every single ball. Uh, we got Primal Clash. And we got sun and moon. So it looks like great ball and quick ball and uh, nest ball, if that is the correct name, are the ones with primal clash. Everything else comes with evolutions. And then the rest, you get burning shadows and sun and moon as well. So yeah, let's start with primal clash. Let's see if we get that Groudon. Groudon was one of my favorites because I always wanted Ruby, but I ended up with Emerald because I got the game so late uh, when I was a kid. So yeah, I'm trying to get Groudon. I'll probably buy a ruby again or something. I'll probably, I got emerald right here, right next to me actually. Uh, but yeah, Torchic, you get these cool half arts. Tentacle, Saphir, Mudkip, Feebas, Slugma, Bunnelby, Kyogre, Reverse, and then Trigsby. So nothing in that one. Let me get something here. Obviously all of them come with white cards because they're obviously in the early XY era. Um, they didn't have uh, different code colors for different weights or like if you have a hit or not um, but yeah all of them are white they probably means it's wearable but don't worry we don't do that stuff Starmy and this is a hollow skeptile spec skeptile am I right yeah so hollow skeptile start off the hits for the very last set so yeah sun and moon now let's go let's see if we can get a rainbow we did really good on sun and moon last time we got the GX, we got a um, what's it called? Oh, it's fourth in the back. So, yeah, we got that full art trainer, uh, Ilima or whatever her name was. But Young Goose, Shelda, Zubat, Point Pole, Suffol, Dratini, and Poliwara. I almost didn't know that was a hollow, but I remember uh, having this before, so that's why I checked. But yeah, Poliwrath, hollow right Look, you can't see it there, but look, there we go. So, hollow rare. So boom, we have Corsola, uh, double less energy, uh, Dragonair, Starmory, Caterpie, Sandy Gas, uh, Cosmog, Wishy Washy, and Gold Duck. Nothing in there. Larry lost. Sun and Moon now. Let's see. So boom, we have Timeable, uh, Brinan, Poliwag, Dupida, Eevee. Suffle, Litten, Torco, Dartrix, and Beware. So nothing in those. Now we're going into uh, Burning Shadows. Oh no, let's go Evolution since we only got the one Evolutions. Oh, that was very spiky there. It was spiky as hell. What's going on? Uh, which way is the code color? No, it's, it's not there. So you can't see the code color. Free from the back. We got Need Arena, Slowbro, Spirit Link, Pokedex, Growlithe, Machoke, Pikachu, Duo, Caterpie, Magikarp, and Electrode. Oh, this one is not as good. So this is a problem, guys. You can you can open like thousand of these uh, Pokeball tins and probably make your money's worth. But when you get small uh, numbers of them, sometimes it doesn't work out. Uh, the ratios are not good when you buy small amount. Like that's what we did last time. We were buying like 10, 20 tins at a time every time we went to Costco last year, and it worked out. We was in profit. Oh, I dropped it. What's the rare? Oh, we got the Lucario rare. Sorry about that. I was actually describing to you. Um, so yeah, sometimes like this, I don't think we'll be in profit today. But if we was to buy loads, um, some openings will weigh the loss of the other openings, um, etc. You could sell some packs and open the rest. So you could sell all the burning shadows at five pounds. You could sell all the 
um, Evolutions at five pounds, and then you're left with Sun and Moon, and you can basically work out Sun and Moon works out for free, etc., etc. Uh, but lots of ways you can uh, like hustle with these. But yeah, I think if we were to open a thousand or a hundred ball tins or fifty ball tins, even we'll probably be in profit. But the very last pack, I think today we won't be. However, I didn't mind doing it for the video. I know it's going to be a very, very long video, and hopefully, you get to appreciate it and everything because it's very long and expensive. Uh, so let's get into this. Palmaria, Cedra, Rotundex, Tangela, Tanamo, Arola, Inke, Cidibar, Beware, and Brother Free. I wasn't expecting the Charizard to be honest, but uh, I will get more of these Costco packs. But let me get to recap. I'm going to recap everything. Uh, I'll go through the total values and explain a bit about the Costco thing. So in the first big box we open, we got Darkrai, GX, and Silvalli, but um, those were the pools. These two were the promos, we got Buzzwall and Exerkatree. So at least you got those promos in case you don't get anything. However, this is the first ball set. So the first ball set had three of each. Sun and Moon, um, Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows and Evolutions. So we got this Mewtwo EX, really cool. We got the Gerizard, uh Reverse. Usually I don't count uh, reverses as hits, but this Charizard is worth a pretty penny in reverse form. Then we've got Machamp from Burning Shadows and then we've got Lunala for Sun and Moon. So we've got one of everything from each, like we got one uh, one hit from like each set at least. And then here we've got second set of three. We got Needle King, Clefairy Hollow from Evolutions, two evolution hits. We got Palisand Hollow. Oh this one's quite good. We've got three hits. We got uh we got Elima Full Art, really really nice card. And then we've got Gumshoes. And then in our final set of three, we have Lucario Hollow, Poly Wrath Hollow. And skip that hole. This is probably the worst opening. But like I said, if we was to open maybe 50, I think we'd probably be in profit. If we was to sell a portion of the pack, say we might sell half the Birdie Shadow, so have half the evolutions, and then you probably make money that way. But uh, overall, it was a good opening. I think we'll open a lot more in the future. We'll probably do, uh, probably buy like 50 or 100 tins, take all the packs out beforehand, so it won't be as long as this. But only reason I made it as long as this. So I can show you what packs come out of each ball. But I hope you appreciate that. I hope you go down to your local uh, Costco. But you can also buy them online. But they're a bit more expensive online. Uh, but yeah, this video should go up this weekend. So you can go get them ASAP before they disappear. Because last year they started disappearing. People were selling it. Uh, retailers were buying them. And they're selling them. Because we went to Comic Con. And we saw resellers selling the same identical sets that Costco was selling. Uh, but yeah, Costco do this every Christmas time. I guess for Christmas period. Uh, Pokemon and Costco team up to get rid of all the sets, all the products that they can't sell. Uh, obviously, these two products are not very popular. But guys, if you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. We're gonna do a lot of things. If you're based in the UK, we're gonna have a lot of UK news. Uh, but Americans, you may as well subscribe as well because this is available in America as well. But guys, thank you for watching. I'll make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.